Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Konnichiwa and uh, welcome to basic Japanese class for beginners. So now as we were doing pronunciation practice in the previous uh, lessons, we will continue with that today so that it gives you more practice and you get more accustomed to the new sounds. You can repeat after me please. O e e e, ho hi hi he, ka ki ku ke, he hi hu ho. Sasu sase, techi tatsu, keki kuko, nani nu no, sase saso, neni ne no, sushi sase, techi tsuto. Techi te to, mami me mo, tochi tatsu, memi mu mo, hahi he ho, momi mi me, hahi hi ho. Yayu yayo, sashi sasu, rari rure, hahi hahu, reri ruro. So I hope by this you are at least getting used to the sounds. Now. We did kore sore. Now, what you can do is you can you can ask about similar things as well. Sore wa ramen desu ka? Iie, kore wa ramen de wa arimasen. Kore wa soba desu. So, similar looking things you can you can ask about. For example, you can ask about a pencil or a pen. It looks similar. So, whether it is a pencil, whether it is a pen, kore wa. And again, answer could be sore wa or sore wa and answer could be koreva in koreva you have jisho jibiki jisho is a dictionary jibiki is a reference book kyokasho is your textbook shosetsu is a novel zashi is a magazine manga is comic book butaniku pork toriniku chicken hon is a book, noto is a notebook, zashi again which we did earlier and manga which again we did over here. So, you can ask about any of these things, you can have both the things in your hand or lot of things could be somewhere on the desk somewhere and you can say is it this or is it this, koreva ramen deva arimasen koreva soba desu. Now, we did kore sore, we did these two, now there is another one over here, are, are is something which is far away from the listener and the speaker both. For example, if the bag is over here, is it visible now? If the bag is over here, so it is far away from the speaker and the listener both. Now, for that the person will have to say are, that over there, are wa nan desu ka? Are wa nan desu ka? Is it all right? Are wa nan desu ka? You can please say after me, are wa nan desu ka? Are wa nan desu ka? Are wa 
kabandes because the answer will be areva kabandes because again the bag is far away from the speaker as well. So, please kore is close to the speaker, sore is far away from the speaker over here and are is far away from both the speaker and the listener. As you can see over here A san B san, he is pointing at something over here kore, see he is pointing over here this is kore for both of them. Now, his, his finger is pointing somewhere else that is are. Areva ginko desu, that is a bank. Again, the same thing you can see over here A san and B san. A san is pointing at a bag, kaban. Areva nan desu ka? What does B have to say? Areva kaban desu. So, is it clear now? Kore, sore, and are. Please remember when to use are and when to use. You can practice like this. Are wa nan desu ka? Are wa, it could be anything. Ginko, bank. Yubin kyoku, post office. Honya, a bookstore. Yaoya, a vegetable store. Also, you could ask about a certain thing, you could name the object. Sore wa shimbun desu ka? Hai, kore wa shimbun desu. Hai, kore wa zashi desu. Hai, kore wa manga desu. You could read this yourself. Hai, kore wa desu. Hai, kore wa desu. Hai, kore wa desu. So, I hope you are getting lot of practice now. Now, a very simple expression, useful expression. Anytime you do not understand or you do not know the meaning of the word that is being used, you can simply say sumimasen, which is excuse me. Sumimasen, imi wa nan desu ka? If you do not understand something, very, very simply you can ask sumimasen, imi wa nan desu ka? Just repeat after me once, please. Sumimasen. Imi wa nan desu ka? Now, we have done kanji characters in our previous lessons. We have done till 1 to 10 and a few more characters. Today, we will do a simple character hito meaning person and another character oki a similar looking character. Oki. So, now I will draw Hito for you. When, you. when you think of a person for kanjis because they are ideograms and pictograms, when you think of a person, how would you, how would you depict it in, a, in straight lines? So, well, a person would be like this, won't it? That is how you would make a person like this. So, we remove the head and 1 and 2. Wherever you see this character, this character over here, it shows that it is to deal with a person. Simple straight line like this and another one like this. If you put a head over here and hands over here, this looks like a man, I am sure. You can, you can remember it now. So, hito. Hito. Hito is to be made like this, simple hito. There are two readings given, hito and jin. You have done this word jin earlier as in indo jin, indo jin. So, this is the same jin over here which we are doing today, indo jin. Now, there is another character. Oki, which is very similar to Jin.
though it is not made like this, like this, but this is how oki looks. So, the way to make oki is 1, 2 and 3. So, 3 lines, 3 strokes to this character, this means oki means big, means big oki or dai. There are two readings over here, oki and dai. Hito is a two stroke kanji and oki is a three stroke kanji. Now, we have done some characters which are quite similar to oki and hito. Look at them and then you will see. What is this character? Can someone tell me? This is Roku. Roku. Ichi ni san shi go Roku. So, this is Roku, which is 6. It is quite similar to Dai and Jin over here. It is a four stroke character as we have done earlier. Now, there is another character number 8, Hachi. Hachi. Hachi, simple two stroke character, quite similar to Hito. So, these are the two characters today. We have done Oki and Hito. Now, some words with these kanji characters Nihonjin, Nihonjin. Nihonjin means Jin is the word that we have done, Jin. Nihonjin. Nihonjin means a Japanese. America Jin. We have done America Jin. America Jin and American. Then we have Jinko Jin. This is this is the word that we are doing and Ko is a different kanji, of course, we will do it later, but the word is jinko, 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 okay. jinko, jinko means population. I am repeating it again and again for you, so that you get the pronunciation properly, the correct pronunciation. So, jinko, jinko is a new word, means population. We have, um, what else do we have? We have hitobito, hito and bito. Now, what happens is over here, this is not actually a character, this is just a repetition. When you repeat the same word again, you just make this character over here, which shows and signifies that this character, this word is to be repeated. Hitobito means people. Hitobito. Hitobito means people. We have some words with dai as well for you. Dai Gaku. Dai Gaku. Dai Gaku means Dai means big and Gaku over here means seat of learning, place of learning. So, Dai Gaku is a big place of learning, which definitely would be a university. Then Dai Gaku and Sei. I will make it for you properly. Dai Gaku Sei. Dai Gaku se, dai gaku se, dai is like this, dai, gaku and se, dai gaku se, dai gaku se means a university graduate student, a graduate student or a university student and the other word that we did earlier was Dai Gaku, which is university. Now, we have another word for you, one more word. Otona. Otona. Otona means a big person, meaning adult. Otona. So, you have three words with this character. Dai or Oki over here. You can repeat after me. Dai Gakse, 
Daigaku and Otona. Now let us try to practice multiples of 100. Well, you can see Hyaku over here and Hyaku is 100 and the character for Hyaku is also given. Ni Hyaku, simple Ni plus 100 makes it Ni Hyaku. And then we have Sambyaku and you will notice the reading for Hyaku changes to Byaku. So, so far we have two readings for 100, one is Hyaku and one is Byaku. Now let us see what is there. Well, we have Yon Hyaku for 400, Go Hyaku for 500. And then again, you will notice that the reading has changed to Pyaku, Hyaku, Byaku and Pyaku. So now you will notice that we have three readings for 100. You have to keep in mind where to use Hyaku, where to use Byaku and where to use Pyaku. Now, Nana Hyaku, 700 is Nana Hyaku. We are back to Hyaku again. And with 800, we have Pyaku with us. And the reading is Hap Pyaku. 900 is Q Hyaku. And then in the end, we have Sen or 1000 or Is Sen. 1000. Sen means 1000. And Issen means 1000. Of course, both can be used for 1000. So, well, now you must remember for Sambyaku, for Ropyaku and for Hapyaku. The reading changes to Byaku and Pyaku respectively. Instead of Hyaku, we have these other readings which we have to remember. Try to practice loudly and it will be easy. This is again a conversation between Kumar san and Tanaka san. Suimasen, sore wa nan desu ka? Kore wa jisho desu. Nihongo no jisho desu ka? Hai, so desu. Nihongo no jisho desu. Tanaka san no jisho desu ka? Iie, so de wa arimasen. I will read the conversation once and then explain. Sumimasen, sore wa nan desu ka? Kore wa jisho desu. Nihongo no jisho desu ka? Hai, so desu. Nihongo no jisho desu. Tanaka san no jisho desu ka? Iie. So deva arimasen. Watashi no jisho deva arimasen. Dare no jisho desu ka? Kore wa sensei no jisho desu. So this is between two people. I am sure some of it you would have understood. Some of it I will explain. There are a, a few new words for you. Dare and donata are question words corresponding to the interrogative English word who. Donata is more polite of course, Dare is more informal and uh, is to be used amongst friends, amongst uh, people your own age, but Donata generally is used when you are in a formal situation, when you are talking to people older to you, seniors. Dare no is similar in meaning to the English interrogative word whose, showing possession and belonging. You have done a lot of vocabulary, you have done particle no. So, over here we have something written kaban wa dare no desu ka. Dare no means whose. So, now kaban wa dare no desu ka with ka you can make it into a question, you can ask someone whose bag is it, 
and instead of bag, instead of kaban which is given over here, you can put any other noun that you want. Noun wa dare no desu ka, whose is this. We want you to replace this with a lot of new vocabulary. There is some vocabulary for you over here. Equivalents in English are given over here in this column. It is written in hiragana in the third column and the first column in blue is the word in Roman. Oksan, kanai, shujin, goshujin, musume, musuko, ojo-san, Oyome-san, Omago, Chichi, Haha, Oji-san, Oba-san. Now you must be remembering we did Oji-san which is grandfather and oba san which is grandmother. So, please this is uncle and aunt the i is not elongated over here and the a is also not elongated in aunt. Now, there is in the end there is vocabulary for you over here. Jidosha, kuruma, Takushi, Jitensha, Shobosha, Kyukyusha, Densha, Kakueki Densha, Tokyu Densha, Shinkansen, Teki, Kippu, Fune and Hikoki. So, you can please practice these. Now, we have been doing enough of practice here in class. There is a simple expression for you. We have done this expression earlier also. Expression Sumimasen. Sumimasen as I told you earlier was, um, excuse me, sumimasen ima nanji desu ka. Well, this is a little different. This means, sorry and you will see how. What are they doing? They are standing in a, in a train, in a subway and it is crowded probably and then B san somehow manages to hurt him step on his foot. So, what does he do? Well, he says itai, it means it is hurting, itai, itai means it is hurting and then once he hears that, what does he say? He says sumimasen, I am sorry. So, well, you know this expression, you know this word, you know it as excuse me, you can use it as sorry also depending on the situation. Now, we have been talking about eating all the time. Well, the Japanese do a certain action before eating. Can you tell me what they do? Well, generally say a small prayer before they start eating and it could be before eating, it could be even before just having a cup of tea or a small snack. Generally, they would say something. Well, what is that? Join your hands before your food and say, thank you God for all the food that you are giving me. Well, the word is? Itadaki mas, meaning thank you God for the food that you are giving me. So, this is a custom followed by all Japanese anywhere before they start eating, they generally say this phrase. You can start doing it from today as you all are learning Japanese. Well, now I will finish today's lesson. I think there is lot of vocabulary for you, there are lot of things for you to do at home, practice with your partner. And please one thing I would like to tell you, 
practice loudly whatever you say should be clearly heard by you because in that manner it registers faster and you memorize also so please try to do that at home with your partner well in the end sore deva mina san arigato gozaimasu and let us meet again in our next class mata ashita aimashou thank you